Hi, in this video we're going to be dealing with power dissipated in parallel. So the first thing to do for this, uh, for this problem is to combine the resistances. Since it's in parallel, well we could use, I mean I could look at it and just know that it's going to be, the resistance here is going to be 100 ohms. And that's just because I can tell that this resistance and this resistance are exactly the same. And whenever you have two resistances that are the same, yeah, you can just cut it in half and say that's exactly what the, the resistance, resistance will be. But you could use this, uh, this handy dandy formula that'll tell you the same thing too. And you can always use this when the resistors have the same value. So this is 200 and this is 200. Since it's the same value then you could use this formula. And it's always true for this formula. So you get the total resistance when the resistors are have the same value is well you're going to put the the value of the resistor so you're going to put 200 up here and you're going to divide by how many you have in this situation we have two so i'm just going to put two here and it's going to give me 100 ohms now that's a quick cheat in order to do these now if you have like let's say 10 of these uh 200 ohm resistors in parallel then you would just put 10 down here but since i have two i just put two and uh, if, if you want, I, I have another video that deals specifically with that. So if you'd like, you can go and check that out if you want that to help you a little bit more. Uh, but if you don't want to do it this way, you could also always do it this way, which is the more traditional way, which is equal to, so it's 1 over the, res the resistance in parallel is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And you can use this formula, and it'll do exactly the same thing. So that's... 1 over 200 plus 1 over 200 is equal to 1 over RT. Now if you add those two together, you're going to get 2 over 200. And then if you cross multiply, you're going to get RT is equal to 200 over 2, which is going to be equal to 100 ohms. So you get the same value. So now that we have the total resistance, let's go on to solve this uh, solve this problem so we can find out how much power we're dissipating in this circuit. So we're going to use this form. Well, there's a lot of formulas, but the one we're going to use is this one. It's the well, power is equal to the voltage squared divided by the resistance, the total resistance. Now, th there's a lot of power formulas like there's power is equal to the current times the voltage. There's uh, power is equal to the current squared times the resistance. Uh, I could have used either one of those, but if I use these two, I would have to solve for current. And with this formula, with just the voltage and the re total resistance, I don't need to do that. So it just simplifies it. So uh, in this problem, I had 120 volts squared divided by 100 ohms. So that's going to be 1,440 divided by 100, so that cancels out there. So the total power dissipated in this uh, in this circuit is equal to 144 watts. And that's how you solve this problem. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like it, and good luck in your classes.